What's up guys, how you doing today? I'm Feel Good Kenny. So, I remember hearing this piece of advice a while ago, and it's pretty common advice that maybe you've heard before as well, which is that you should avoid over-promising and under-delivering, right? So maybe you haven't heard that before, so what does that mean? That means that you should never tell people that you're gonna do something, never make promises that you can't keep, because maybe the thing that you tell people you're gonna do you just never actually do it. Or maybe the thing that you say you're gonna do, maybe it doesn't turn out as well as you thought it would. So basically the idea here is that if you raise people's expectations by announcing something, you're only gonna set them up for disappointment if it doesn't work out. For example, I've seen this happen with, uh, with YouTube channels where the YouTuber will you know, we'll say, hey guys, I'm working on this thing, you know, behind the scenes. I'm going to keep it a secret from you. But once I finish it, I'll let you know what it is, right? Why do people not announce things right away? Why do they not just come out and say, hey guys, I'm working on a book. Hey guys, I'm working on a, a TV show or something. They don't say that because there's a chance that it just falls through, that it never works out, right? So you don't want to get people's hopes up. So... Uh, there is a lesson here, right? First of all, one of the lessons potentially is, uh, hey, never trust somebody if they tell you they're going to do something, you know, always be cautious, you know, um, you know, because people, people get excited about things. People have great ideas, but sometimes, you know, it takes a lot of work to make those ideas into a reality and to have them turn out good. And, and sometimes people give up on things, you know, in the middle of the process. So, you know, maybe one lesson is to be cautious and not trust other people. But also, I think there's a lesson which is maybe you shouldn't trust yourself. Be cautious when you tell yourself that you're going to get started on something because there's a chance that you'll give up right away. Now, why am I bringing up this subject? Is it just because I want to share this piece of advice with you? Is it just because I think there's a lesson here for all of us? I mean, partially. Really, it's just, I, I'm not happy with the amount of YouTube content that I put up. And I wanted to tell you guys that I'm going to start making more YouTube videos. I'm going to start uh, really taking my YouTube channel seriously, and I want to do things the right way. And you might be saying, yeah, 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 you've said this before. And it's true. I have said this before. And yes, I have failed before. I've not stuck with it. Um, you know, something you should ask yourself all the time is when you say you want to do something, right? Because here's the thing. You tell yourself that you're going to get started on that thing that you've always wanted to do, right? You tell yourself that, you know, you're going to be healthy now right? You're going to exercise, you're going to eat right. You tell yourself that this time is different. And yet time and time again, we don't follow through. We don't keep going. We give up. You tell yourself this time is different and it isn't. So I don't want you guys to believe me at all. I don't, I don't expect you guys to believe the fact that I'm going to start making YouTube videos right now. Um, in order for that to be a reality, I have to prove it, right? The truth is this. The truth is that right now, in the moment, I am highly motivated to work, to make YouTube videos, to see what I can do, to do things the right way, and to make progress. But that's just it. It's a little bit of momentary motivation. You know, people always say that motivation is difficult to come by. People always say that it's hard to just be like find motivation, right? But in reality, I don't think it's actually that hard to get motivated. I don't think it's actually uh, that difficult because motivation comes all the time, frequently. We get motivated a lot. The thing that's difficult, it's not getting motivated. What's difficult is to stay motivated, okay? 
staying motivated is the real problem that we have. You might start something for a day or two, but then you give up. The question is, how do you stay motivated? Day four, day five, week two, week three. How do you stay motivated month 20, right? How do you stay motivated year seven? It's hard to keep going. So I ask you to be cautious when you tell yourself that you're going to do something. When you tell yourself that you're going to start. Be cautious when you tell yourself this time is different. Why is this time different? If you say you're going to do something, mean it. So that's the lesson. But really, the point of this video was for me to tell you guys that um, I'm going to make more videos. I promise.